Welcome one and all, my name is Tavis and uh, yeah, it's been a while. Terribly sorry about that, I had things come up to be solved. As we can't stress, not, not really effective for a while. So, anyway, I've been lapping around a bit. See, new angle, newish angle. Um, we still tweak it a bit because it was a bit low, but you know, we're working on it. As my older and dearest subscribers know, this channel is all about me trying to find new good camera angles. Well, you know, you know what it is? This is, what is a mad dog? I'm gonna paint it in uh, what have now become my settled clan ghost bear color scheme. I'm still kind of locked into this idea that my clan max have to be at least somewhat regimental. In the three ones, could have any paint scheme I want, but the clan ones they are not big in not big on individuality. So there's that. Right, this thing was just base coated, just sprayed with a base coat of white, and then we paint gray over all, the, all over that because, well, you know, it's gray. And yeah. The idea is basically just to block in the sort of frosty feel of it. And um, how to shift this? Well, we use a um, dark gray. I think it is a armor gray, I think. Not armor gray. Oh, dear lord. Great. I actually forgot the name of the paint, but anyway. And then with an ash grey over that one from Armour Painter, but I mean any grey will do. And um, just block in all big panels, making sure to not overpaint in the uh, recesses to get a nice skeletal feel. I kind of like it. I uh, should have started with darker grey though, or perhaps even black for this. But you know, you learn as you move. Um, strap panels, top panels are going to be painted blue. And um, again, you can do whatever glue, blue you want. Um, the one I use here is fairly close to uh, ultramarine blue. But it's that muted. I don't want it to be too hot, too hot, too sharp, to stand out. The idea is to help look cold. And I mean, it is what it is. Now, at this point, I probably should have washed it down with a dark wash. I didn't. Instead, I decided to jump right into edge highlighting and, um, well, general highlighting of the gray with Gorgon Hide, which is also a cold gray. But any blue, very pale bluish gray will work for this. Does not have to be Gorgon Hide specifically. You use what you have, basically. But a cold, well, I mean, the cold grays, they should have a slight blue tint to it instead of a brown or red tint. I'm going to try to explain this at some point. It works better with other cold colors if you want a frosty mechanism. This is Clan Ghostbird after all. Frosty is kind of their name. So yeah, that is one of these things that you have to keep an eye on. Now, if you don't have a specifically cold or warm gray, it doesn't really matter. It does not matter in real. I, if you use another gray, it's going to look a bit warmer, but it's not going to, it's not going to do a lot of difference in this case because Unless it is a brownish grey, you are going to get the proper effect anyway, thanks to the blue. Blue and grey always makes things look colder. Now, of course, for the blue, it's going to be really hard to see because I couldn't catch a good angle of it because I tilted the mech down while painting it, which was great for my eyesight, horrible for actually capturing imagery of it. But in essence, this is ice something it's called, I think. Ice grey, ice blue. It's a very pale blue in a way, almost baby blue. And I try to make it look like the blue panels are frosted over, not panel lined as much as having a almost frosted over feel to them. It didn't turn out exactly as I wanted to, but it still looks pretty good, I think. So this is something halfway between a, a dry brush and a sort of stippling, I mean, not really stippling, but 
Um, I applied a vertical stripes and jagged uh, strokes at the front of the panels. It's hard to see, but generally speaking, if you get up close, you can see that they are like patterns on part of the panels to make them look, I say, a bit frosty. Now, this new angle, of course, is going to be part of the parcel for now. We're going to tilt it up a bit more to make it a lot easier to see the mix, but we're also going to try and and um, get an overhead view. We'll try that in the next video. So, what before was a mix between the first blue and, as I say, this icy blue. This is just pure ice blue applied to the extreme edges. Regular edge highlighting for the most part. And again, this just gives you a sense of 3D to give um, the illusion of light hitting these sharp edges. Because if you look at, light often catches on these. And why not try to stay away from extreme edge highlights on mix because they're so big that I feel it can look cartoony almost if you do it. But you could go a lot sharper, you could go over a third time with some white and just apply it to the edges where the corners meet, where the angles meet. Just put white dots there to really emphasize light hitting there. But I know, if you've been with me for a long time, you know this. I've told this many times over. And um, yeah, we're still waiting, by the way, for the Mercenary Kickstarter box to arrive. Got a lot of goodies in it. We're going to do an unboxing of that once it comes, but um, for now, we are not, not there yet. And um, I think it's supposed to come by the end of... By the end of... August, I think it was. I don't know. We'll see. We have no control over that when it shows up. I also think it might be a slight delay to it because they are actually pushing the closing date for the battery kit. So if you still haven't decided on what you want and you have um, bought stuff, that you can still change your mind. I can't because I locked my stuff in before I accidentally bought more stuff. Yeah. Of that, we had my standard metal thing, and uh, once the metal was dry, we took this tool out. This is Outlook and Brush, and we think, yes, this is oil paint, basically. It's panel lining. It's a product designed primarily for um, Gundams and Gunpla. But it works very well here, too. I mean, mix or mix, after all. And it, it is a oil uh, paint, uh, very diluted, that uses a uh, capillary reaction, meaning that it applied to a trench or a panel line or something and it will pull out into that I meaning you don't have to paint the entire thing less risk of messing it up i'm still getting good at it i'm not particularly good yet but as you can see here it pulls out it's easy to put too much in it's a art form i haven't fully managed it yet we're going to be using it on mechs going forward so yeah that's pretty much no more to do welcome back We'll try to avoid having it be over a month before the next video. But we're going to wrap this up with some nice, smooth turntable action. And um, until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye.